Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio. You stay around with your, your host here. This is a podcast for leaderpreneurs, entrepreneurs to learn the essentials and soft skills of the strenuous life. Today we're going to talk about something important here. Give us an old JR. Um, the importance of journaling. You're like, what the heck are you talking about? Well, it's it's a given fact, successful people journal. It's one thing I'm trying to drill into Jimmy's peg head here. Journal every day. <laughs> Says sitting there <laughs> slogging along and writing about me. <laughs> My past. <laughs> but it fascinates Jimmy, so I guess that's another form of journaling. Journaling you you learn about your feelings. Okay? You learn about your feelings. And I guess in many ways, Jimmy writing about me, I guess describes, you know, some feelings he and I both went through. See, see, journaling is important for your, your success. I mean, there's just, there's just no excuse for, for why to not do it. Now, am I right? I know I'm right. How would Jimmy do it now? Sorry for the noise. All right. <laughs> he just needs to install a few pictures, and and there we go. See, here's the thing. I can hear some of y'all now. Now, well, why do I have the journal? This is this is insane. Well, have you ever thought? Have you ever thought that maybe journaling, and maybe you know. Get mine and, and Jimmy's favorite mode of of journaling is word processing. Because in many ways, <laughs> you can put you can put pictures in there and the like, and and, and, it, and it really helps. I put you in the frame of mind. Like Jamie, he likes to put in, you know, pictures of things that the rich would have. And there's nothing wrong with putting your dreams in a journal. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like, why not? And why not for each and every single one of us? Keeping a journal, whether it's in audio format or... Uh, what what these kids now call a vlog <laughs> don't make sense to me. But yes, kids, <laughs> a video log. It's hard for me to really consider that journaling if you're putting it on YouTube. But then again, yes, yeah, see them, and that's that's your choice. All right. And we have our choices on how we want to journal. I want you to think about this. The Lord calls us to our best. He calls us to do, be, and have more. And, and you know, you can't, you can't say that he don't. He loves us. Wants the very best for us. And who are we to say that we can't we can't journal? Well, I just can't find the time. I'm off the busy business. Hey, if you don't journal I'm down your thought, thoughts and feelings. Chance for you to learn you'll never learn and grow. You'll never be able to look back and say, Hey, look how far I've I've been. I remember back in 2022 before I got a hold of Jimmy. 
He was a sniveling mess. This ain't too hard to look at. If you just have the intestinal fortitude to, to journal. Sometimes you need a journal to get them feelings out. And, and you know, what's wrong with that? The way I see it, nothing. Nothing at all. I'm willing to bet that Theodore Roosevelt and all his grandeur and glory, he kept a journal. You know, this series is called the, the Ballad of Theodore for a re reason. Because we're all called to be at our dead level best. And we can't be successful if we, if we can't journal and, and, and see what needs to be done. Now you can put two do lists in there. You can put your feelings in. Put pictures in. You know, whatever... Whether you feel like you're being called um, to, to do being have, whatever your desires are, you journal them, them things. Uh, Jimmy likes to write to his, his uh, late, late best friend. I won't disclose everything about how I journal on the air. A man's journal is his private business. Sad thing is our culture sometimes likes to want to look at other people's journals uh, when they're still living. Let me tell you something. I don't think that that's necessarily right. You catch somebody looking through your journal when you're still alive and you have a problem with that person. It's going to come back to bite you. But journaling is important for you. That's a skill that you need to have. Okay, there's there's no excuse not to. Uh, because the Lord gives us to, it to us. You know, in, in, in mine and Jimmy's church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, uh, yeah, they kind of see it in some ways as a commandment to journal. And so I'm trying to <laughs> get Jimmy to integrate more, integrate more of his thoughts than just keeping that in, in his head. And, and that's what you need to do to be successful. Write them, write them puppies out. Write every single one of them thoughts out. Uh, that way you can get rid of the negative and accentuate the positive. You know what I mean? You didn't think I'd sit there and, and talk about journaling as such an essential skill, but it is. Helps you get the negative and the hurt out, but also gets out your hopes and your desires in each and every one of us. We, we know, don't we? We know the Lord has called us to do the and have. So let's let's not be coy about this. Let's trust the Lord that He's got His best interest in us, and and journal like He's called us to do. And now that, that's that's just journaling gets gets it all out. Your dreams, your hopes, everything. Don't keep it inside your head no more. That ain't going to help you a bit. Not one bit. Now with that, I hope you enjoy listening to the Strenuous Life Radio. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Strenuous Life family. J.R. Hendricks saying until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can have what others can and like my daddy is always going to saying, think strong, live strong, and live the strenuous life. God bless you. Now y'all take care now, you hear? Take care.